Hi there, this is Nelly Deutsch and I'm on a Moodle site called Free Online Learning or uh, Courses for Free. Uh, it's a test site, Moodle site, where I try things out. And uh, maybe I'll give you a chance to also try things out as the admin. If you're interested in that, let me know. All right, so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to change the theme. Right now, it's just a raw Moodle site, which means it doesn't have anything except for whatever Moodle comes with. First thing I'm going to do is go into the admin, which is right here at the bottom left-hand side. Click on it. Wait a few seconds until things come up. There we go. Now I'm going to go into plugins. Plugins is at the center here. So let me click on it. There we go. Plugins. And let's see what happens. Wait a little bit. It's going to take me to Moodle.org. On Moodle.org, where I have an account, I'm going to look for a theme. You can get other plugins. In fact, that's where you get all the plugins. Next, I'm going to go to install. Notice there are two options here. One is install and the other is the overview. Right now, <laughs> not much to overview. I'm going to click on install. And here we are. Next, I'm going to click on install so I can go to Moodle.org. If I have already installed the plugin or the theme, whatever it happens to be, everything is a plugin then I can do it from my computer by going into choose a file. But right now, I'm doing it straight. Notice I'm going to log in. There we go. You should get an account on Moodle.org. You could also ask questions, get answers, and I'm in. So next, I'm going to go to the bottom here and go to theme because that's what I really want. I want a theme. And then I'm going to, from under more, write my version just to make sure that it's compatible. And then um, here is a list of, sometimes you get lists of other things, but okay, these are the themes that are compatible with 3.9. You should really be careful. You should add them before you upgrade. All right, so I'm looking for Fordson that I find amazing. And I want to experiment and because there's some things that I would like to change, like spaces. All right, so there's the install. Notice you can also download it to your computer, and then you just uh, install it that way. I showed you how that's... Whoops, I didn't want to do that. So let's click on Install. And then I've got a list of all my sites. Okay, so uh, the site that I'm looking at is... Um, where is it? Oh, there it is install its uh, online courses for free <laughs> okay that's that's what it's called okay next i'm going to confirm this very very easy to do and a lot of fun having a moodle site is absolutely amazing highly recommend it and then you could have the freedom of managing your site and giving courses organizing courses and so on. You can do it collaboratively with others or on your own. All you need is a domain and a host. There we are. Next I'm going to click on upgrade. It'll take me back to the upgrade page. Wait a few seconds. It works so don't get discouraged. Patience is important. And it will work. Okay, so there's Forts, and I can start uh, setting it up if I want, um, but I can do it later. Okay, so I'm going to do boost and um, preset no boost. I think everything here is by default and it's fine. Did I make any? No, okay, the boost is the boost, and I think I like it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, the colors. Yeah, so um, any recommendations for a color? All right, let's go for something a little, yeah, all right, a little daring. Okay, and uh, the rest of this, 
is okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, I want to make some changes. I can add um, links and so on. And the courses that I don't have yet because I haven't started them later on. But I do want to get rid of... I need to go to the menu. Okay, I think I'll just set it up. It'll be a lot easier than going through this scroll, this long scroll that I don't like very much. Feature image. I don't recall that being there. All right, maybe this is a newer version. Sometimes I get updates for the uh, updates of the plugins as well as Moodle versions. Sometimes you get it a bit later. You don't get them all at once. But you wait around and they do come. So again, patience. And this is where we have to be. So this is it. All right. Um, web services. Yeah, I should enable that for the mobile. Enable. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go into site, which is over here right now. But I'm going to get rid of this uh, left navigation or nav. Uh, there we go. So is that up? Did I get that going? Save changes. I'm not sure. It's kind of slow. All right. So let's go into site administration and then appear, oh no, appearance. And then this is how I select my new theme. So it's not enough to add it. You need to select it. So you go into themes, appearance themes, and then theme selector over here. Let's click on it. And then we're going to, right now it's boost. We're going to change the theme. And you change it four times, depending on what you have. So the first one is for the desktop. So let's scroll down and go into Fordson. Strange name, eh? For a theme. Wait for that to come up. And, oh, there's the red. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit daring. And then we're going to go into the legacy and change that. There we go. Let's scroll down to Fordson and click on that. Next, we're going to go to the mobile. Okay, these are all for different kinds of um, devices. There, I think that's a bit strong, that hot red. Okay, and for the tablet. Okay, I like it tablet or an iPad. Okay, there's Fordson. So we're all ready. All right, so there we go. Actually, to see the theme, you just need to do the first one on the desktop, since that's what I'm on. Okay, next I'm going to go to appearance. I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to get rid of the left here, the left navigation bar. So um, the logos... Um, for the site, the core admin, you might want to add a logo. I'll do that later. Also, a favicon, I'll do that later. All right, so let's go back to site administration, appearance, and then, yeah, that, that color is too much for me. Fordson, and then we've done this boost and so on. Uh, let me just put myself over there. Let's go on to the presets. I think, yeah, this is fine. Next, I'm going to go to the images. Well, this is where you can add your images, header, logo, and so on, as well as your favicon. If you're not sure what a favicon is, it's what you see of your site when you're in the web browser. On the left, you'll see something there. All right, next, colors. Okay, I'm going to change these colors. It's a bit hot, too much for me. Next, I'm going to go to the menu. Now, this is where I'm going to make the change and get rid of the navigation bar because I, on the left because I don't like it. So even though, you know, you can minimize it and maximize it, but that doesn't make a difference. So under menu, I'm going to scroll down until I get to... Um, Keep going here until I get to the nav. There, nav drawer, they call it. So I'm going to disable that. Click on save changes. And then it's going to be gone. Are you ready for this? Take a look over there. One, two, three, gone. And that's it. All right. So I'm not sure about this color. I'm going to change the color. It just doesn't go with me. 
And that's it. I've got Fortson. Uh, let me just uh, log out here. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the uh, Moodle over there. Okay, the um, image. And I'm going to make this background white. So that's for the next video. Please subscribe to my channel. Ask questions in the comment box. And if you'd like a video, let me know and I'll do my best to create it. Have a great day. Thank you.